All right, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth through the Holy Spirit. And as always, I would like to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the Lord's elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Hey, and when in doubt, man, Yahweh Bashmi Shai will give you a topic. You know, if you're looking for a video, man, the Lord will always deliver that topic, man, through the spirit. You know, I'm sitting here at work and I'm like, damn, man, you know, I ain't do a video in a day. What am, what am I going to speak about? What am I going to do? All right, go through the subscriptions and lo and behold, a beautiful uh, video popped up from the elder brother from uh, Baltimore. Um, Salaki, your brother, if I forget your name, um, brother does great videos. And um, the Sons of Thunder Israelites, all right, here they, they're they going into it again, the MOTB, all right, and they, they go off, right? They actually even try to compare the mark in Ezekiel 9 and 4 to the mark in Revelation 13 and 16, which proves that, you know, you need to go into these different words to, to, to break down the scriptures. You know, you can't just read the scriptures in the English and think, that the word is gonna mean the same thing. It doesn't work like that, okay? And that's what we sh that's what we stress. You gotta go into the Hebrew and the Greek, and sometimes even the Latin. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it. By the way, you can subscribe to the Elder Brothers page, uh, Holy Bible Defenders. All right. Great edification. So what he's going into is he's going into Revelation 14 and 1, and he's basically trying to say, you know, is the most high going to write his his name physically on your forehead, right? And then he tries to compare that to Revelation 13 and 16, which is the mark, all right, which, yeah, we always go into a karagma, right? But what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to go into some some words, some different words, because, you, yeah, you can go into karagma. But then karagma will lead you to other words to prove that the mark is a physical thing, right? So he's trying to say that the mark, the mark is spiritual because they say that it's sin. You know, when you, you you'll hear him explain it. But the scriptures clearly tell you that you can't repent from this mark. So it can't be sin, right? It can't be sin because you can repent from sin. So that's number one. And then you got these people out here when, you know, when we play the video, you'll see you got a whole bunch of women sitting, listening to these guys in, in chairs with umbrellas. You know, anytime you see a camp like that, you might as well turn the other way, man. A bunch of people sitting down with, with, with umbrellas and chairs listening to you. You know, they ain't trying to learn nothing, man. Well, let's continue on. Like the brother said, there's no scripture that says you can repent from this. In these guys' logic, we all had the mark, right? Okay? Because I don't know why it's so hard. Well, I know why the most high blocked your mental, right? But 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 these guys are actually bucking up against what it actually is. And you'll hear this guy say, the chip has already been here. When you go to the store, what do they tell you? Insert the what? Well, that's that. That's not. That's not. Yeah, that's that's a part of the technology, but that's not the final step Esau wants to do. Here it is. You you have individuals like Aaron Russo, 
who was actually friends with the elite, with the Rockefellers, telling you what they said that they wanted to do, right? Which is to put that, you know what, inside you, the karagma inside you. You have people telling you the plans of the elites, but these different Israelite camps still can't effing get it, man. Showing you that, the, what, the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded, man. Because there's certain prophecies these individuals just cannot get. Let's continue on. Everybody should not be teaching the Bible, man. Everybody should not be teaching the Bible. A lot of you dudes are you out there on the highways and the byways because it's a way that you can get attention and popularity. But a lot of you dudes, you, you don't have the doctrine, man. You don't have it. You're set to do it. And your right hand is the performance of the action. You understand? Keep right hand in your strength is your right hand. And that's what you do when you perform things. According to scripture, that's Hebrew slang. Brothers don't like that. No, brother says the chip. Listen, and we never talked about this at camp. Like, today's a better day than any camp. The chip has been here. When I go to the supermarket and I pay for food, it says insert. Chip. Yeah, they tell you. They tell you to insert the the chip, right? When you go to the store, that that's 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 Esau Edom prepping you. That's him prepping you for when he actually wants to insert it inside you. You already done heard that buzzword, chip, 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 chip. So there, there's steps to it. Okay? He's, and, I, and I did a video on that. Because Esau will have the signs on the um, card readers, and it will say insert the chip. So that was him prepping you for the future technology for the final step. That's what that was. Okay? The final technology of the chip all right, is, is, is that prophecy that's going to be fulfilled in Revelation 13 and 16. Just because you got a chip on your damn um, um, debit card, that don't mean that that's what Revelation 13 and 16 is talking about. Yeah, you got a chip in your debit card. You got a, a chip in your car. Certain computers have chips in them. Yeah, that's the technology. But the final chip is to chip your ass. That's what Esau Edom wants to do. Now, this is what I wanted. The water to the brother for posting this uh, uh, karagma, right? So, because the, 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 uh, this individual speaking said it doesn't mean um, what, it, what it means. <laughs> All right. So, it means a, a stamp, an imprinted mark, the mark branded upon horses, thing carved. Okay. What do you do when you carve something? All right. When you go to the uh, butcher or the deli and you say you want to... Uh, a pound of this, that, and the third. They carve it. What do they use to carve it? They use a certain tool to carve it. Or you can carve some. You can carve something with a knife. You could carve something in the wall with a knife. You can carve something with many things. What do you do when you're carving it? You're physically making a mark. Okay. It says sculpture, graven work, or idolater's image. Now that's what it means when you go into the blue letter, right? So let's go into this word here. All right. Uh, what was I looking for? Okay. Graven, right? Because what does it say? It says graven work. So let's go into the word graven. All right. And this is the online etymology dictionary. So it says uh, to engrave. It says old English to dig, to dig up, engrave, carve, chisel. Now, what I want to focus on is the word chisel. Because like I said, karagma will lead you to grave. Grave will lead you to what? Chisel. Right? Now, what does the word chisel mean? It says a tool with a be, a beveled salakia or, sl or slopping cutting edge at one end used for parting, splitting, gouging, or cutting out. These are all what? Physical uh, 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 words, if you will. Okay? It says scissors to cut, okay, to strike, all right? 
So, Locky, let's go down. Uh, chisel. To break, cut, gouge with a chisel. Okay? So, that's what it means. To break or to cut. Now, like I said, these are all words coming from what? Graven. A graven work. And this is all talk. This is all the mark, right? Okay? So, to cut or to gouge or to break... And when they actually put that MOTB inside you, what happens? They break your skin. Your skin gets broken. So, so to break. And this is just touching the surface of some of these words, man. You know? Let's look up the word sculpture. Did I spell it right? Salakia. Salakia. S-C-U. Sculpture, right? Sculpture, okay? To carve, to engrave, okay? To carve, to cut. <laughs> the meaning, a work, a work or a carved art, okay? Let's go down to where it says sculpt. To cut, carve, engrave, okay? So what's spiritual about this, man? And these are all words coming from Karagma. We got grave, we got graven, which we ended up getting chisel. Then you got sculpture, okay? And imprinted mark, right? Let's look up imprint. Okay, the word imprint. Let's go down. An imprint or mark. Impression made by printing or stamping. Mark, impression, imprint. Okay? So there's there's absolutely zero uh, uh, proof that any that none of that's spiritual. It's all physical, man. It's all physical. But d these dudes think you can just read the English and just say, oh, Mark is spiritual. It's spiritual. Well, go into some of the words and you'll see that. No, man. It's, it's physical. It's a physical mark. Let's continue on. And then he calls for Ezekiel 9 and 4. Now, why would he do that when the, the word mark in Ezekiel 9 and 4 has absolutely nothing to do with the same mark in Revelation 13 and 16? The Hebrew word for Ezekiel 9 and 4 is thawa which means to be exempt from the judgment of the Most High. The Hebrew, uh, the Greek word for Revelation 13 and 16 is karagma, which, we, which the brother just posted it. So it's, it's, it's two different things. It's two, it's two different totally definitions, man. Go to the Strongs and see that Ezekiel 9 and 4, the mark is different than Revelation 13 and 16. So why would you even call for that scripture and try to compare the two if, you, if, if you're a teacher? Right? And you see how these people are out there camped out, a bunch of women with umbrellas. I don't know if they could be their wives or their daughters. I'm not sure. But they camped out listening. I don't see no brothers out there. Umbrellas, chilling, laid back, settled on their leaves, right? Relaxing. You'll never see anybody like that, like this at none of our camps because we won't allow that shit, man. You ain't gonna come listen to us with no damn like 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 it's uh like it's chill time. We in the time of the Lord's uh, uh seriousness, man. This dude, should, this dude should not be teaching the scriptures, man. He shouldn't be teaching the scriptures at all. Point blank, period. Because you're leading Jake astray, man, at the end of the day. You're leading Jake astray. Revelation 13, 16. 
certain brothers don't agree. Certain brothers say, nah, brother, they're corrupt. You got these, young, these, these Jakes are young, man. They don't, they don't know what's going on. They're just going, going off what they've been taught. But they haven't been taught the, the truth, man. That's why a lot of these is a lot of these, these Israelites are gonna leave these camps. You see what's going on with these banks collapsing? That's Yahweh Bashim Yahshai bringing forth that mark closer and closer and closer because that dollar is gonna crash, man. And a lot of you Israelites are gonna leave these camps, okay? Because the the the, the bullshit that's going on, man. Especially with these last couple prophecies with the with the mark, all right. The most high going to get, get you guys, man. And what's crazy is, I'm going to go to my YouTube page. I think I did a video. Let me find a video because it wasn't that long ago. Right here. Uh, This was Wi-Fi. Okay, right here. Yep. Sons of Thunder, right? And they was going off on the mark then. Y'all failed the test. I did this video two months ago. So th this is another video getting done on y'all. Because you guys been teaching that as spiritual, man. Your whole congregation is teaching that crap. You know? So lucky. Let's go back to this video. The brother. Stop lying. Karagma does not mean to make an incision to cut. That's, that's good. But stop lying. Karagma. That's right, man. You can't make this stuff up, man. You can't. You, you literally can't make it up. Anyway, with that, I just wanted to do a commentary lesson. I want to do a commentary lesson. Um, I'm going to go back and watch this brother's video. As soon as I seen it, I watched it all the way up until this point And I said, you know what? I got to stop it right now. I got to do a response. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to upload this. And I'm going to go back and watch the, 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 the brother's lesson, the elder brother's lesson. So all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and taught us his truth. Peace and blessings and salutations to the Lord's elect. It's the brother Zion signing off. Shalom.